so here's a film I'm gonna put in the Zorky. It's a Legacy Pro, I got a ton of this stuff. It's a 24 exposure pack and it's 100 ISO. And there's the old Zorky, which is the Leica knockoff M39 screw mount, which should work perfectly. I really gotta get longer nails. Okay, hey, gonna screw this guy on, and I don't know, I screwed up the uh, film, loading film in this thing. It's kind of hard because that back doesn't open up and you can actually crumple the film. It gets jammed up in there. Um, it's not like the M3 that it's got that back that comes off or opens up. So that was a bit of a pain. So I don't know how many shots we got, but we got enough to test it for sure. So that's it, it's locked in. And you can see it just locks in perfectly square with the camera body. All right, let's get this thing mounted. It's my lucky tripod. And I got a pretty heavy duty ball head, so this should work out fine. I end up using this pretty much only for the big heavy duty film cameras. All right, here's my mount, and I'm just gonna flip this guy over, and I'm gonna tighten this up. Okay, nice and snug. And there it is in all its glory. Okay guys, we're gonna do a little macro work on some Christmas tree ornaments. The tree is still up, but it's gonna be ditched soon. And we're gonna take a look at this ornament. We should get some good bokeh out of this too. There's a little guy here, he's about an inch across, maybe three quarters of an inch, just a small one. And we should get some cool bokeh. And the camera is about two feet from it. And you can see how compressed the bellows are. And that's in focus right now. And I'm gonna set up a shot and we'll see what we get out of this little guy. I'm gonna shoot at F4 just to get maximum bokeh. Uh, there you go guys, that's as good as I can get here with the phone. So there's the shot and you can see there's an X um, on the glass that's giving me the center mark and it's also, uh, that's what you want to focus on when you're messing around with the diopter. So I've got that X sharp as can be for my eye and this is what I'm seeing and this is the clear glass. Okay and that's the view with the ground glass. Same focus of course, nothing's been changed. But I think this is going to be a real bokeh machine. Look at that. That's crazy. So I'm going to take a shot here. I'm going to meter the light. And I'll let you know what I shoot it at. And again, it's at F4 on the 135 millimeter Elmar. So I metered that at 100 ISO at F4. And I got 1 40th of a second for shutter. So that's this guy here. So how these guys work, maybe I should do a show on this guy, is I'm going to advance the film. I'm gonna take a couple shots because I think I screwed up loading this thing. So there you go. And now it is set at 40 already. So you set this after you wind it. So this guy's set at 40, 1 40th of a second. And you know what, I'm gonna get a shutter release cable. Ah, screw it, I'm gonna just bop it. And you know what I did? I forgot to put the mirror up. So here we go again. Mirror up, it's locked up. And shot number two. All right, so the last shot, I put the shutter release cable on it. But this is fun, it's very cool. Um, I'm having a blast with this. So here's those distant trees, and I'm gonna show you this does go to infinity. There they are, in focus, so that's cool. I'm used to using macro tubes, or extension tubes that you know, you're limited to your, where you can be um, in focus. So this is kind of nice. So I'm gonna shoot that Leica. It is about two feet away from the camera. And I'm metering at 1 20th of a second. I'm kind of limited with this uh, uh, Zorky camera. It goes from 1 20th and then it goes to bulb. So I'm going to shoot this at 1 20th and see what we got. I've got the mirror locked up and let's check it out. Some flowers here in the kitchen. I'm going to do a couple shots of these guys and see what we get. Okay, there's the shot. This is uh, with the clear glass. And that is going to be again at 1 20th of a second f4. I don't want to go below that because then I got to get into bulb mode and I just want to do some of these tests. And there it is with the ground glass. Pretty sweet. Okay, let's see how close we can get to this loony. This is a Canadian dollar and we call them loonies. Obviously, there's a loon on it. And these guys are one inch across, so this will be a good subject. So there it is. I'm about eight or nine inches from the uh, lens and it's pretty much filling up the whole frame. And that's a wrap. So that was fun. I'm going to definitely use this thing again. It's really kind of cool. It's something you do with your Leica that you don't normally do. So I'm going to keep it for now. 
I did have some weird lines in a few of the photos from shooting with that Zorky. I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to look into it. They're just fine horizontal lines. You probably can't even notice it on some of the pictures, but a few were really bad and I didn't use them. But other than that, it's a pretty cool setup. If I can sort this Zorky out, I'm going to keep using it for sure. If not, I think it's a good excuse for me to buy a Leica 3. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope this was useful to someone. Thanks.